Hey, I'm Bob. Welcome back to Kaler's Aquatics and Reptiles. And today I'm going to do a feeding, uh, but it's going to primarily focus on my two Paku. And I'm going to talk a little bit about them uh, while they eat. Um, these fish are related to piranha with some big differences. They're for the most part vegetarian and they will eat nuts and fruit and uh, mostly vegetable matter. I'm giving them actually right there, cranberry, cashew, and almond mix. And that's the smaller of the two. The bigger one will come over, I'm sure. He's in the corner there. And I've actually been feeding them a little bit already. Um, these guys can get up to, can get up to 24 inches. They don't always. You'll eventually need, uh, if you keep them um, at adult size, you'll need a uh, uh, 300 gallon is a good size for them, or a pond or a pool. Uh, I actually have a swimming pool that I had started to assemble and got disgusted with trying to get it together. And uh, But it'll be, uh, Oh, seven, eight hundred gallons in there, depending on how much water I add. Uh, this is a 180 they're in right here, and they're about 14 inches right now. One may be just over 14, the larger of the two. And they're big fish, but one of the secrets to these, besides good nutrition, is uh, to keeping these healthy, is great filtration. And I've got um, two. Um, Oh gosh, I forgot the size I've got on there. The largest size um, of the Hang On Back titles. And they actually have skimmers on them and great flow. I sometimes have a wave maker going, but I don't just for the purposes of uh, wanting to do a, a little better video quality. Um, what else with these guys? They... Um, don't typically eat other fish. They can, and they can outcompete fish for food. Most of the food I put in here is for medium uh, size fish, um, and they will sometimes pick up some of the food, uh, like pellets and so forth, and are capable of eating the small food, but they pretty much wait uh, and eat things that are more to their liking and more to their size. and. That guy's just being stubborn over there. He knows I have food, but uh, he's not interested in coming over. I'm gonna drop a couple things in. They have excellent vision. And see if I can get him to come over. He was over just a little bit ago. And of course, when I sat down to start a video, he goes back. He goes back. I've got a couple of, uh, ah, blackberries that the parrot and I were just uh, eating. So let's see where those have gotten to. There they go. Whoops. And these are really juicy and fresh and they're from the... Got that one. I don't know if I got it on camera, but they love juicy berries and nuts. Got him chewing that blackberry. They are really, really good. Uh, I've got some blueberries that they had some of yesterday, actually. But uh, I think that's about all to share on these guys. Ah, let's see if somebody wants a blackberry. I haven't given them blackberries before. They've had blueberries. So let's see, there's the blackberry. How about that? It's like that's something new. This is the bigger of the two, and I have no idea what their sexes are. Um, they get along great. That's another thing about these guys is that they're not territorial. They are not, um, so it's okay to keep mixed sexes and more than one and. Uh, in the wild, they do school, especially when they're smaller. Yeah, 
but as they get some size on them, I see you peeping around down there. As they get some size on them, they tend to hang out more on their own. I think that's probably a food, a food thing more than anything. You know, if a plum falls in the water, you got 20 of these guys, the odds are not great that you're gonna get the plum. But anyway, they're doing great. They still have plenty of room in here. Um, this tank is 24 inches wide from front to back, from this side to the other, um, and six feet long. So they are nowhere near touching glass when they turn. And there he goes back. They too do tend to stay away from each other, but when they're together, they're really nice to each other and um, eat together. They'll bump each other like fish do, but very little competition. So yeah, if you're thinking about getting some paku, make sure you're gonna have a big enough tank. And if you like trail mix, <laughs> nuts and berries and so forth you guys are going to get along great i've had these fellas i guess about three years and they were quarter size when i got them and they're just an awesome fish of course this doesn't really give a true example since my hand is well, he's right against the glass so right up there so that kind of does tell you how big he is i've never had him bite me and yes i have hand fed them many times they'll come up and take berries and nuts and uh, pellets right out of my fingers all right guys thanks for watching take care and i'll see you soon in another fish video